So about two months ago, I posted a video where I was just rambling and ranting about the current state of learning how to code and the job market and AI and all that stuff. And that video ended up getting more views than I expected it to. And I feel that I need to make a follow-up video to kind of talk about some of the things that I mentioned in that video because I felt that that video was very negative. And while I was just trying to be honest and share my opinion on what the current state of learning how to code and the job market looks like, I felt that it may have gave off the wrong message. And towards the end of that video, I mentioned that even though it feels like it's the worst time to learn how to code, it's kind of like the best time to learn how to code. That statement kind of contradicted a lot of what I was saying in that video, but I wanted to clear that up now and talk about that a little bit because I recently had a coaching call with someone and they told me that they watched that video and it really made them feel like, maybe they should give up with learning how to code. And that was never my intention with that. And sometimes when I share my opinions on videos and I upload them, I forget that there's other people that watch this stuff and take what I have to say very seriously. A lot of what I said does seem to be what's happening right now in the job market. I do wanna say that even though right now is not a good time to maybe learn how to code and try to get a job, or let me say, maybe it's not the best time to do it. The truth is that it's still a good option. It's still something that's worth learning. I still think that it's a skill that you can learn that will really improve your life and help you financially if you decide to stick with it and eventually get a job or freelance or build your own stuff with it or whatever it is you, you want to learn how to code for. Many of us want to learn to, to get a job. I know that that was the reason why I started learning. And while that might be a little rough right now, it doesn't mean that the market won't change. It doesn't mean that things won't get better. The job market always goes up and down. And what we're seeing right now is just a big correction from what happened during COVID when a lot of companies ended up hiring a bunch of people. Now we're seeing a correction in that. And it does kind of suck for people who are just getting into this, trying to get a job because it's very tough tough time to get a job. And that's the reality, that's truth. I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. The job market sucks right now, but that doesn't mean that it won't improve. And if you're someone who's learning how to code now or someone who has been learning how to code for a little while now, and you were feeling like you were getting job ready and you were hoping to get a job soon, and you see the market being as bad as it is, it might make you feel like, well, maybe I should learn how to code. Maybe I should just kind of give up and try something else. I don't necessarily think that that's the best approach. If you think about all the times there's been ups and downs in the market, the dot-com boom was over 20 years ago. And if you think about how many software development jobs and companies have been created since that point in time, like it's a lot. But anyone who might have started learning how to code back then probably felt a lot like how many people who are learning how to code right now did. It was probably way worse to be a developer coming up at that time, given the circumstances of what happened with the job market then. And maybe there's a lot of similarity to that now because there are a lot of jobs laying people off and there are a lot of tech companies that kind of aren't doing that great over the last few years. But that doesn't mean that in the next five to 10 years, a whole bunch of new jobs and a whole bunch of new tech isn't gonna come out. Wouldn't you rather be the person who is learning how to code now, who's gonna be better prepared for when the market starts to go back up? There might be people who are just a few months into their learning. There might be people who are just getting out of a boot camp or getting out of college who are looking to get hired right now. And it's tough to get that first job, but that doesn't mean that it's going to stay that way. And then the other thing that I talked about, which is just this big, scary buzzword that everyone's talking about now is AI. And everyone's worried that AI is going to take everyone's jobs. And while they are going to take some jobs, that doesn't mean that they're gonna take all the jobs. And honestly, as someone who has just started using AI for programming, I'll tell you like this, it doesn't feel like it's there yet. I feel like it's a big maybe it might happen, but it also feels like it really is a tool that's gonna help us be better programmers and developers. And I don't feel like it's something that we should be scared of. I really think like it's something that we should embrace and learn how to use it to our advantage. Whether you're someone who's learning how to code right now, or if you're somebody that's trying to start their own software development business and you're trying to use AI to help you as a tool, like you really should because I finally decided to start using it and I am just, so happy that I did and I see how much that this can improve my life as a developer. Like I'm not scared of it. Maybe I'm being silly. I know I'm going to get a bunch of comments where people are going to be like, well, you should be scared of it. Blah, blah, blah. Like, dude, there's always something 
coming around to take our jobs. There's always something that we need to be worried about and scared about. And I don't want to be here fear mongering and trying to scare people into thinking that this is going to be it because I'm not sure if it is, but I know that while it's here and while it's new and while it's something that I can use to help improve my life and make my job easier and make it easier for me to build stuff and make it easier for me to automate a lot of the tasks that I don't like doing. Like I've started using AI for everything that I hate doing. I use it for most of my emails. Like when sponsors email me, I just throw it in the chat GPT and tell it how I want it to respond. And boom, I don't have to deal with that. Same thing when I was looking for a job and I was applying for work. I used ChatGPT to help me with cover letters. I used it to help me with my resume. I use it to help me with interview questions. Like, why wouldn't you just use this tool? Don't be scared of it. Learn how to use it and use it to your advantage. Maybe one day it might take your job, but maybe it might not. And I know in that video, I said how like we should all be scared of it. But I also said what I'm saying right now. I'm saying that like, I wish I had that when I was learning how to code. Like it really is your own personal mentor that you can bother. It's a rubber ducky that gives you answers. It can really help you and accelerate your learning. So why wouldn't you use it? Beware though that it makes mistakes and it's not perfect. And I don't think that it's going to take your jobs right away. If as someone who has worked in the industry as long as I have, which is I guess not that long, seven years now or so, I know what it is like to work with non-technical people. I know what it's like to work with managers and project managers and business owners and C-level executives who have no idea how to use any tech. And while those people have been trying to get rid of software developers for the longest time, they try to buy the tools that are marketed as no code or no need for a developer. They buy those tools and then they always end up needing developers because they don't know how to use it and they're not technical enough. And then they try to hire people who can get the job done, who also aren't technical enough. And then they end up building a big piece of crap that needs to be fixed by good software engineers. I've been on multiple projects where that's happened, where a company goes out and pays a million dollars to get something built, and then they get it back and it's a huge pile of crap, and they have to hire a bunch of internal developers to fix what a bunch of contractors made. And I've seen that happen so many times in my career that it's gonna be the same thing with AI. These companies are gonna go out and try to buy these AI solutions that are gonna improve their lives and make it to where they don't need to hire a bunch of expensive developers. And then they're gonna to have to pay twice as much for the developers to come in and fix whatever the AI built. Again, this is anecdotal, it's my opinion. The same way that I was just sharing my opinion in that previous video. Just because some YouTuber comes on here and rants for 20 minutes on a video talking about how bad things are, just remember that it's somebody's opinion. It was my opinion at a certain point in time. My biggest takeaway from that video, what I was really trying to get across was how frustrating it is for people who are learning how to code right now. People who are new and coming into this industry, people who try to watch a few YouTube videos and they get overloaded by information and 20 different courses that 20 different people are trying to sell them and they don't really get answers and then they go on Reddit or they go on different forums online and they see all the negativity and they see how bad the industry is. And while there's a lot of truth to how bad things are right now, it doesn't mean that it won't get better and it doesn't mean that it's still not a great time to learn how to code. It still doesn't mean that it's not a good time to pick up a new skill that can greatly improve your life and make you money. I know that that's why a lot of people get into this and I feel bad that I made such a negative video that ended up getting way more traction than I thought it ever would. And I feel bad for people who watched that video and took what I said as 100% truth because at the end of the day, we all get on here and we all talk into a camera and it's just one person's opinions. I was just trying to share a little bit of the frustrations that many of us are going through and many of you might be going through as you're learning how to code. And I was really just trying to make that voice be heard because we are in a world where everybody is overly positive. They're forcing positivity and they're forcing these, these videos to try to make things better than they are. And I feel that we need to talk about some of the negatives sometimes, but I don't wanna only talk about negative things that are gonna make people feel like there is no hope and there is no positivity and there is no benefit in learning these things because I I don't feel like you shouldn't learn this. I still feel like, like this is something that if I was given the choice to learn right now today, 
to learn how to code, I, I would do it. I, I would still do it. I would do it every single time. I've said this in previous videos. I would learn to code every single time because I still think that it's a great skill to have. I still think that if you learn it and you start building your own stuff, you have so many opportunities. I know what the market looks like. I made that video. Everything I said in there, I'm aware of what I said. And while there was truth to it, I still don't feel like it's something that you shouldn't do. I think that it's totally something worth pursuing. It's just gonna be a lot harder this time. But the people that stick around, the people that, that show that grit and determination and continue to learn, the people that build the projects, the people that keep studying, the people that go out there and try to freelance and they try to get customers, people that are out there working on their portfolio, the people that are trying to put stuff together and working on open source just so they can have a resume so that they can apply for a job. Like those people, like you guys that are doing that, are gonna be the ones that make it. And there's gonna be thousands of other people that don't pursue this with the same level of effort, that don't show that determination, that aren't really trying. The people that do one tutorial and maybe build one half-baked project and say, oh, this is too hard, I'm never gonna get hired. You were never gonna get hired in the first place. Like, forget those people. But the people that are really working hard, the people that have been putting in the hours, the people that have been learning and building and grinding and networking, those are the ones, when the dust settles, those are the ones that are gonna get hired. Those are the ones that are gonna start their own companies. Those are the ones that are gonna be successful freelancers. No matter what happens with the market, the people that decide to follow through and keep going when everyone else is telling you it's not worth it, those people are gonna be successful. And I, I still think that there's a lot of potential for success. There's a lot of potential for getting hired. There's a lot of companies that are hiring. There's a lot of there's a lot of businesses that need websites and there's a lot of jobs that will come and things will get better. And I don't think that AI is gonna take everyone's jobs. And if you're not using AI right now to make your life easier as a developer or as someone who's learning how to code, you're doing it wrong. You totally should be taking advantage of every tool you have, every resource you have, and keep going going and eventually one day you're going to look back and you're going to be like oh man you know a year or two years later you did it right but if you're not willing to put in the work for at least that amount of time you probably weren't going to do this in the first place and i hate that boot camps market this like learn in three months bull because it's not real. When you think about people who are going to college for four years and you think that you're gonna do this in three months or six months and you hear about those very few unicorn success stories of people that actually do that and then you see courses and tutorials and boot camps that sell you that idea and then you get that in your head that you think it's gonna be that easy. Like when, when I was learning how to code and I was gonna get a job back in 2017 when things were good, I still knew that I had to put in like almost a year. Like I gave myself a year of really, really hard work to get a job and I did it in 10 months, which I felt was still really fast. But if you're not willing to at least give yourself a year or two for this thing to work for you and for you to actually get a job or become successful with learning how to code and actually make money from doing it, like you're not giving yourself enough time and, and the people that are gonna quit, the people that are complaining, most of them, not all of them, but most of them are people that aren't gonna put in that much time and that much effort into this. So just remember that when you get discouraged and you see a lot of negativity out there, that there is some positivity still in it. And even though I made a negative video, this is like my apology video trying to say like, hey, it really isn't that bad. And I, I need to come up and like clear the air on that a little bit because I, I feel bad that that I may have made it worse. And I don't wanna make the situation worse. I wanna make sure that people are following through with what they wanna do and, and achieving success and things that they wanna be successful in. And I don't ever wanna be the person that talks someone out of making their lives better. All right, with all that said, I just wanted to make that video real quick and just talk about that because I don't want to discourage anyone from doing this because it's something that has greatly improved my life and I really think that it's something that can help a lot of people who are trying to improve their life by learning how to code. As silly as it sounds, I think learning how to code, it was part of my self-help routine. And I know I can contradict myself by saying that because I may have said the opposite in the past, but you know, with any career and anything you do in life, there's gonna be times when you love it and there's gonna be times when you hate it. And I'm just documenting all of that because that's the reality of things. It's not always rainbows and butterflies, but it's also not always doom and gloom. Things will get better because it always does. All right, with all that said, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.